I'm completely unaware that there's dinosaurs there and you want to eat me. So, Neil, what have we got on the show this week? Well, more downhill World Cup action from Leo Gang. Do we have some European Championships from Azerbaijan? Cross country, that is. Yeah, we do. Uh, and then we've got 26 Tricks, the Dirt Jump Contest, also at Leo Gang, and all the normal stuff like Caption of the Week. And a little bit of tech for you as well. In cross country news, the European Cross Country Games took place in Baku, Azerbaijan. Nino Scherter, the favourite, took the win. It's great to see these random events popping up in obscure places that we don't usually see mountain bike events firstly, but Nino's win actually wasn't without a little bit of trouble. Um, he got a puncher midway through the race by suspected glass on the course possibly, um, lost some 25 seconds, got himself back into the front group and then took a convincing win, cruising in to win by 13 seconds in the end. And actually it was a Switzerland one, two and three in the men and Yolanda Neff, um, well, she won as she's been doing all year um, in the women. So Switzerland took home, may as well have been the Switzerland games. Yeah, Nino showing obviously his class, but I've seen Nino's name recently somewhere. I can't remember where. Oh, there's Strava Championship races. Oh yeah. Just managed to pip Nino on Strava. Bit of a confession there. I may or may not have had a bit of a, an e-battery helping me out there. Me and Brendan went for a ride on the new Scott e-bikes, but I still beat Brendan on an e-bike, so I'll take that. So now we're going to do a bit of Instagram. Neil, what have you got for me this week? Super fast women's XC racer Yolanda Neff. Follow her on her travels, see where she goes with the curly locks. It's a good shout. She seems to be winning everything. And my tip this week is Connor Ahoy. Connor Fearon getting his first World Cup podium last week. Got some pretty cool stuff there on his account, so check that out. So the Downhill World Cup circus marches on. They're in Austria at the weekend. Leo Gang used to be a real big bike parky track, but they've put some tech stuff in this time. Looked really hard. Uh, Aaron Gwynn won with an incredible run. He snapped his chain out at the start gate and still managed to put in a really good run and won the race. What do you think of that, Mark? Well, he won qualifying also. Yeah. So um, winning qualifying and finals, obviously massively convincing. Although I watched the race and I'm not entirely, I think he had a lot of luck on his side. From what I could gather, the middle section is very flat um, from having ridden it before. And I, ring, I think that the wind had changed enough to help him carry enough momentum and pump and work the bike. Um, you know, you can't argue with the time. He's obviously faster, wasn't he? Rounding out the podium was Connor Fearon in second and Remy Tyrion in third. That's his first good result for a while. But talk to me about Connor Fearon, Mark. I don't know much about him. Well, last year he was like, me and him were very close all the time, you know, just outside the top 10, just inside the top 10. And a lot of people have talked about him. Obviously, I've seen videos online of his. He's a super nice kid and I'm, I'm pretty stoked that he's got a breakthrough and got that second place, denied the win yeah. by an absolute smidgen, but this might be that kickstart that he needs to be yeah. right in there every week. Qualify second as well, so consistent, that's really good. Uh, and in the women's, Rachel Atherton took another win, so she seems to be on a roll at the moment. Yeah, definitely, and I think that she said in one of the interviews that the course is not really her style, it's too fast, it's dry, loose, perhaps not likes that bike park star track, but then yet again takes qualifying and finals. That's two wins in a row now yeah. on a roll. Do you see anyone stopping her? Well, Tani Seagrave is looking really good. Another second place. Manon had more unfortunate luck this weekend. She got DQ'd for going outside the tape. So Manon's season is not going so well at the moment. There was a few controversial moments with tape where you could possibly point fingers. The rule is quite gray. I've been DQ'd before for crashing into a pole and getting up and I went the wrong side too. Was the pole all right? The pole was okay, but I was pretty disappointed. We've got a bit of a super fan here, Peter Takak, shares every single uh, video on Google+. Plus. That's pretty impressive, but leave us a comment, Peter. I'd love to know what you're liking and why you're watching the videos. Yeah, that would be cool. My comment of the week, Greg Burgess. What would he say, Neil? <laughs> Well, he has said, I have a man crush on Neil. Well, I say, just don't fight the feeling, yeah. 26 tricks took place last weekend alongside the World Cup downhill in Leogang. 
super cool dirt jump contest, Neil. Yeah, have you seen Antoine Bizet's run? It's ridiculous. The first trick, I had to actually read the comments, see what it was. A cash roll, apparently. Then he did a 360 flip, a double flip and a front flip no under, so pretty impressive. They're really pushing the boundaries, and it was interesting that Ryan Nyquist was actually there riding from, obviously from BMX and coming over to mountain bike. Yeah, a bit of an old US BMX legend. I don't know how old he is, we were just having this uh, discussion. I reckon he must be late 30s, but that's his first ever MTB contest. He didn't qualify, but pretty cool to see that. Yeah, that is cool to see him riding a mountain bike. Last week's caption contest, that picture of Emily and Rago going OTB, face down, in the dirt. Yeah, we had some great comments on this, like literally loads, so thanks very much for them. Um, one I picked up on was Alex Fundell. He says, the fastest way to apply a facial mask. Well, definitely, yeah, I'm not sure it's the safest way. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Bottomley says, I thought I could smell a truffle. And Vince, Vincent Pang says, I'm done with riding. I think I'm going to be a mole. That is a good one. So well done, Vincent. You're the winner this week. Send us your details. We'll get your t-shirt in the post. This week's caption contest is a picture of Mark hanging out in Scotland in a bit of a funny suit. What are you doing there, Mark? I was just working on some prototype aerodynamic kit. It is slightly flawed, though, because I can't actually see where I'm going but we'll overcome that. Not so breathable either, that probably. Leave us your caption down below for a chance to win a GMBN t-shirt. Something I found this week, Neil, which I think will be super handy, is an adjustable torque driver. So you might ask, why do you need an adjustable torque driver? Why do you need an adjustable torque driver? There you go. Well, it is adjustable between four and six newton meters. As you know, most components on the bike, you'll see those little, little written parts that says suggested torques for delicate parts of the bike. You can get your torques exactly right, and it's got all of the necessary bits that you use most commonly on a mountain bike, four, five, six Allen key, and of course T25, which is cropping up more and more. Nice. Also, 27 Plus is coming. We did a bit of a feature on it at Sea Otter, see what it's all about, and I've just been in Italy checking out Scott's brand new range of 27 Plus. What is the Plus? Well, it's a big fat tyre. It's, again, it's another new standard, which I know people get their backs up about. I recently tried fat bikes, which I was quite impressed by. I definitely think the 27 Plus is a lot closer to a normal bike as you'd normally ride, and I actually really liked it. I've, it's opened my mind a little bit, so check out their new range of Plus bikes. Shout outs this week. I've watched a really cool video of pierre Edouard Ferry. Riding in the south of France, it looks like. Uh, loads of sort of rampage style riding on a trail bike with a big old wall ride over a cave. So that's pretty unusual, but cool, let's check it out. Definitely have to be really precise riding that small, shorter travel bike yeah. uh, on that sort of stuff. Um, something that I noticed this week was obviously you've seen the generic sort of team video that comes out in the early part of a week after a World Cup race downhill or cross country. Well, Polygon United Ride have kind of put a little bit of a different script on it and let Andrew Neithling, uh, Sam Reynolds and Mick Hanna basically direct what goes in and what's cool and what's not. So it's a little bit different but quite quirky and nice to have a fresh concept. Yeah, I've not seen that one so uh, check out all the links, they're in the description down below so I'll have to do that. And leave your comments. On the channel this week, tomorrow we've got Pro Bike Check. Andrew Neithling's Polygon Colossus DH9. And then on Monday, we have how to fit volume spaces to your fork to make them really progressive. Tuesday is top 10 riders of all time. And then on Wednesday, it is how to climb faster. And on Friday, Mark? Well, of course, it is the Dirt Shed Show. Okay, so that's it for this week's Dirt Shed Show. Don't forget, if you did like our video, don't forget to like it. And obviously leave your comments as well. We love to hear from you and see what you've got to say. All right, and for more videos from GMBN, you can click up here for our how to jump higher feature. We had loads of comments asking us to do a jumping video, so there you go, there's one. Uh, we've had loads asking us to do one on how to whip, so that'll be coming shortly. Yeah, a little whip contest between Neil and myself, and obviously some tips to get you guys whipping on the jumps. Um, and click down here for our top 10 tips of how to ride in the wilderness.
Should be 11 really, so I think one should be don't fall off and break your finger whilst you're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, broken pinky, couldn't cross the stream without staying on my bike. No, maybe you need to see some of our, of our other skills videos, Mark. Of, Can you do one, Neil, of how to cross a stream and stay on your bike? without uh, breaking your finger. I can do one on how to fix your broken finger by giving it a big pull on the trail side. Yeah, we did do that, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs>